Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about what it takes to apply to a good and competitive program here in Canada. If you're a grade 12 and you're just applying you might be wondering if you have what it takes to apply to these competitive programs and if you're a few years out from the university application process then this video will be of great help in terms of getting you to places where you need to be if you want to apply to such programs as well. Before we get started make sure to subscribe down below and like the video. If you if any questions comment them down below as well or you could DM me on my social medias that I've also linked down below. By subscribing it really helps out the channel and lets me to make more videos that will help you in the process in the future during the university application process and everything else. So if you don't know who I am my name is Nelson Lee and I'm a first year student at the University of Toronto for engineering. Last year I applied to University of Toronto Engineering, Waterloo Engineering, Western Ivy, Queen's Commerce, and numerous other programs, and I got accepted into all of them. I've been making videos about the university application process for quite a while now, and so this video I hope will be of great help to you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. You might be wondering, what am I talking about when I'm talking about good programs in this video. Well, I'm mostly referring to the highly competitive programs that have an extensive application process. To apply to such programs, you need a lot more than just submitting your marks and paying the application fee. You might need to go through a lengthy application, do a video interview, submit your extracurricular activities, and so much more. It's a different process compared to most university programs. And just to list some examples to showcase what I'm talking about when I say competitive programs, talking about things such as the University of Toronto Engineering, Waterloo Engineering, a lot of business programs across the country, and a lot of health science related programs such as McMaster Health Science or QRMs at Queen's. And there are many other university programs in Canada that fit into this category as well. So what are some of the things that you need to apply to such programs? Number one is high marks. This is a really crucial step because it's one where they call a lot of applicants from. For example, if a program has a minimum average of 90%, then you should have at least 90% if you want to have a good chance of getting in. Without that, then your application is really a long shot in terms of getting in or getting on the wait list. Without high marks, it's really difficult to be considered on an equal footing with other applicants because when applying to such programs, there are numerous, numerous applicants that are also applying. They might have the same marks as you or they might have higher marks and you want to differentiate yourself in that sense by trying to have a good mark when you're applying to ensure that you are really competitive in the process with other applicants as well. If you want to learn more about marks when applying to university make sure to check out my video about marks down below I've linked it and that video will really cover in depth what universities are looking for in terms of marks. The second thing that you need to consider are extracurricular activities. Extracurricular activities are a section that most highly competitive programs will ask about. They'll ask about what your leadership opportunities were, what clubs you joined, whether you joined any sports teams or competed in any contests. This is a place where you will need to talk about what you did in high school, inside high school, as well as outside on your own personal time as well. Extracurricular activities are really crucial because if you have two applicants and they both have enough 95% average. The only way to distinguish them aside from the written application is looking at your extracurricular activities. They'll choose someone with a lot more experience and has shown passion for that program over someone who has no interest in the uh, program based on their extracurricular activities or if they only spend all their time focusing on marks and not on other aspects as well. I have an in-depth video about the extracurricular process also linked down below and you should check that out because that covers everything that you need to know about extracurricular activities when you apply to university. The third thing you need to focus on is having a strong essay response. In most of these programs such as Waterloo Engineering and all business programs and all health science programs and just all these competitive programs, they'll have numerous sections where they ask you specific questions about things such as why are you joining the university? What are you interested about? They might even give you a case scenario where you have to give a written response. This is 
a really crucial factor because it showcases the university application officers something about you that can't be directly written in a extracurricular activity section or just your marks because this is the only place in a lot of scenarios where they actually get to know about you they get to know about your priorities your interests what makes you interested in their program and a whole lot more and so having a strong essay response is crucial to really getting university application to focus in on your particular application and to accept you in that process and to sum all of these things up one of the most important things is to have a well-rounded application they want to see someone that has decently high marks is involved in their school with extracurricular activities and different clubs as well as having a strong essay response by having all these things your chances of getting in are significantly higher than someone who might have extremely high marks but are deficient in the other two categories another important thing that a lot of universities look at is unique or leadership experiences for example if you're applying to health science and you have a extremely unique application in terms that you had an internship at some biotech lab that very few high schoolers were able to get into or you have a leadership opportunity like you were the president of some nonprofit organization then those are things that the university really looks at and says wow this person is amazing we want them at our university having those unique or leadership experiences will really bolster your chances of getting into the program that you want and with these four factors the chances of you getting into a highly competitive program increases dramatically even having just one of these increases the likelihood of you getting in however the best chance to get into the program of your choice whether it requires a 95 average or even just a 75 average is to have all the things that I stated above you need to have good marks you need to be participating in lots of things that you're passionate and interested about. You need to ensure that your written application is strong and you want to make sure that you are showcasing what is unique about you and that you are a well-rounded individual coming into the university. And like I stated before, I have videos on all these topics that I talked about. They're linked down below and you should check them out. As well, make sure to like and subscribe down below and turn on the notifications because I'll be making numerous other videos about the university application process specifically about certain programs that I personally apply to and I want to share those tips with you so stay tuned and we'll be back really soon